Peace. This ain't the Uber Eats guy. This body, leg, head, back. You know what I mean? Like, that's exactly what you want to do to confuse and further disorient your opponent. If people ask me for like a really good scene, a really realistic scene, this is up there. This is this is on the list uh, that I, I would recommend to someone. What is up guys, John here aka Bruce Lee. Today I'm reacting to Raid 2 since you guys enjoyed my Raid 1 reaction just yesterday or maybe two days ago depending on when I uploaded this. Uh, thank you so much for commenting uh, this recommendation you guys. Uh, this is from you guys at home and it's been such a pleasure to watch this scene. Uh, I'm a kickboxing teacher and Muay Thai fighter here in Canada and this is the breakdown. Let's get into it. Alright. He's a little bloodied up already. That's the that's a tense stare down, man. The kitchen staff are like, peace. This ain't the Uber Eats guy. This this ain't DoorDash for sure. Uh, you catch me out of here. Fair enough. Uh, I want to rate today's martial arts scene, guys, based on two criteria: how realistic the martial arts are as a whole, and how entertaining this scene is. Since that's the main objective of the movie, is not 100% realism, right? Interesting here. What I would do, so what they're doing is giving each other, uh, it's loosely, I try, I try to call this like a neutral, like a 50-50, where you both have like equal footing, equal stance, uh, and it's a, a test of skill and speed oftentimes, is like who gets kind of like the first shot in. What I would do if I was one of them though, is I'd actually have my, their feet on the inside of each other. I, this might be from Salat, I, you know, because I know these guys, uh, it, Salat is a type of Indonesian and sometimes, you know, it practices in the Philippines or East Asia, it's a type of martial art. I would personally have my foot on the outside, not the inside of the leg. Just my preference. Um, but I, I believe this is kind of like a, a neat little tradition. Okay, so the sass has got, got a speed advantage or a skill advantage. Potentially both. <laughs> his smirk on his face. He knows. Elbow front kick. We also noticed too is that uh, not only is... Uh, the assassin, he's a, he's a one going first, which is really good. The other thing is that Eco is backing up, and then this kind of a test, like I don't, I, I don't know what it's called. So someone comment below if, if you know what this kind of like, you know, like the Bruce Lee demonstration thing where they have like their hands like there, and he goes like a bang. Like if you know what that's called, uh, please comment for the for the rest of our community here. Um, not only is the guy getting the shots in uh, and taking initiative, you can try to move it first. Eco's given up a lot of ground, and in, in this kind of demo or in this kind of like competition, to be the one that backs up is a sign of submission. So, you know, it's not, <laughs> not looking good. And the guy's been like, "Ha, huh. not a bad idea." He tries to go for a grappling move on a wrist lock. The guy, the guy read it very quickly though. He's gonna go for a leg kick. I know it. <laughs> Excellent kicks here from the assassin. Uh, let's back up uh, super quick, guys. Um, it's because he looks down his, at his leg twice, so he's like Ugh, looking at him, at him in the eyes. But like we like, there like, I could read that in his eyes. Like he, 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 of course, it'd be a leg kick. The guy does a roundhouse, comes back with a hook kick, and then you see here as Eco throws his right roundhouse. His left leg is actually too close to the base of his body, and the guy uh, will actually sweep the supporting leg. You can do this with your hand, you can do this with your leg even. I, I prefer to just do it, use my, like, my, to sweep this leg with my foot. Uh, it, it absolutely works like that, and I've never gotten someone to, to flip over like 180 degrees like that in the air, but the principle of knocking someone down by just swiping that leg and timing them, it's not a matter of strength. N not even necessarily a matter of speed, just timing this move that he pulls off right here. So, he's got some neat uh, kicks there. Boom. Absolutely works, you guys. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If so, please leave a like because it means a lot to me and supports the channel big time. And please consider subscribing so I can hang out with you again. For now, let's get back to the video. Absolutely works, you guys. He goes down for an axe kick, front kick, the flurry of punches and elbows here. Eco's finally starting to fight back and not give up so much ground, but he's losing these grappling exchanges. That was a good way, like, if you give up ground, a spinning away from the target and using a spinning back kick is a great way to alleviate some of that pressure. So you see what Eco does here, he tries to do a spin elbow, he spins to his left, and just, you know, he's gonna go, screw it, I'm gonna go for a left side kick. Oh, 
good counter from the assassin. I hope I I, I know who the uh, Rama who the assassin is. I'm assuming Eco Ue is is Rama. Oh, nice. They're using some kind of like traditional martial art as well. Like, I don't want to say it's Wing Chun, but it could be. Like the way they're redirecting the punches using elbows. Like I'm not as familiar with Salat. I'm more of a kickboxing white tie fighter uh, and boxing. Um, so pretty cool stuff here. I love this. It feels like Mortal Kombat. So you see here, uh, there's a flurry exchange. Uh, and right here, uh, Eco, I think, lands a front kick to, you know, whatever. He does a bit of damage to the body. He actually disorients the guy with a headshot. And then the assassin, like, is just kind of standing there being like, FINISH HIM! And he kind of takes, like, five major kicks. That does happen in real life. I mean, you get, like, dazed. Uh, you can actually look like a deer in the headlights like this. So, he gets uh, a headshot in, and the guy's like, whoa, whoa! Uh, and what I love about that sequence is that Eco really gave him a good variety. So not only was his opponent disoriented, he went uh, body, leg, head, back, you know what I mean? Like, that's exactly what you want to do to confuse and further disorient your opponent, is don't just do like four headshots in a row, because like they'll, what will they, like, if they're, if they're hurt in their days and you start attacking them in the head, what will they do, right? They'll cover up. But if you're attacking them everywhere while this, 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 they're disoriented, you're actually amplifying uh, the, the, the negative effects of that of, of that pause, that delay. Uh, so really good stuff here. Uh, we, we've seen these guys on the channel now a few times. Like they, they obviously have some good choreographers for their movies. Which is why I, I love Raid 1 and I'm super excited to be doing this team. The guy was lucky to get a grab there, goes in for a double leg takedown. That's interesting that he chose these moves. So the guy goes down and he actually does like not capoeira style kicks, but the assassin guy here is actually on his hands kicking while, you know, low to the ground. Personally, you know, just from my style, I would stand up to get the full leverage of my kicks and just kick downward. It's interesting that he kind of stays low here and does these kicks. I don't think those deliver that much power compared to what some of the other stuff he was already throwing was. Neck shot hurts. That neck shot is, is pain. <laughs> Sasa guys getting more and more disoriented. So you see, in the beginning, is like, boom, quick reaction. And now he's kind of just like, he's taking more and more. It's accumulation of damage. It looks a lot like this. Like, if you watch boxing fights uh, and kickboxing fights, when you accumulate, you start to accumulate the damage, you know, the people just start to not look like themselves anymore. They're portraying that extremely well here. That was nice. He attacks a supporting leg because it's a flying front kick is what that's called. And then uh, Eco uses that momentum to just go for a roundhouse. Why not? Eco's getting faster, his opponent's getting slower. Decent double leg. Nah, it wasn't perfect, to be honest with you guys. Good front kick. Good roundhouses. Really good stuff. Like, super impressive what they're doing here. This, this for me, might be even better than Raid 1. Uh, the scene I did yesterday. So, uh, you know, impressive, you guys. Oh, interesting. Oh, you got some crit play. Ooh! That is a rough one. I'm surprised the guy didn't pull it out sooner. Nice job from Eco. Now, I'm not a dagger master, you guys, but one thing I noticed here from just my my brief expo okay, I'm not gonna pretend to be an expert for this, you guys. Uh, but my brief exposure with knife fighting, the guy's throwing extremely wide. So you'll see he actually goes like wide arcing and his hands travel his elbows or his hands one or the other or both they travel behind his body of more than a few times here most knife fighters i know whether it's it's like the style that he's using especially you know filipino martial arts they keep the blade between them and their target a lot more than that the only reason i can think of is that maybe the style i'm not familiar with but i think like it's, it's a flaw in the choreography or like a, kind of like a seam in the choreography so watch closely guys so he gets his first uh, cut on the leg it's a great place because Eco was explosive and he's mobile and attacking someone's leg like that will take away those two major advantages. And now um, you see how his, his arms go behind his body. That for me is is not, you know, from the knife katas I know or been exposed to, you did not have your hands behind you. You know what I mean? Like the only reason I can think of the guys going out like this is to give Eco a chance or time in the choreography to be able to intercept. If the guy just kept his hands in front of him and did like shorter swipes, like, you saw how sharp those blades are. They don't, you don't need to, to do a big swing to know you'll cut. 
right? The guy's not armored, so the smaller, more practical cuts would make more sense. You see here, like, his uh, extremely wide arcing ones. I think the way I've seen those knives used is actually they're tighter. Uh, in terms, like they, they, do, they do spin like that, and you can spin your body with it, but they're a little bit tighter strokes than these wide arcing ones. So that's one thing I, I you know, again, it's, it's for the sake of the movie, but you guys know me. I'm a critic, uh, you know what I mean? I don't pretend to know everything, but that's one thing that I, I would do different if I was, if this was real, which it's not. It's a movie. And you see how his, his arms straightening out on the swipes too, so watch closely when he, he does the, the downward swipes. He's going like, his arm is straightening out completely. Like again, like I have, I personally haven't seen knife katas uh, or dagger katas even that, that, that look like that. So that what for me is, is, you know, I, it is a break for me there. That's a good move. So he hyperextended the elbow. That's a good, that's a good thing to do against someone with knives. <laughs> like attack those joints. And the, the safest that Eco was was uh, when this guy misses a strike right here, where both knives are facing away from him, is the safest Eco would be. I would I would try to spend more time angling off to see how their knees right now are facing into each other. I would try to step on the outside of him and be on you know like the, on the. The dark side of the moon, so to speak, of, of where his knives can travel. Because that's where he's a little bit safer. Ow. Disarm him. Disarm him. Uh, when you have someone disoriented, like my, my first instinct would be to either to, to wield a weapon myself or try to do something to disarm him. Oh, I forgot Iko's leg was hurt. He did a lot of moves. Uh, you know, assuming that they say this was real. He was able, as oppressive, he was able to do all that uh, with, with a cut leg. This is a masterful scene though overall you guys like the, even the thing I mentioned there about the wide arc like that that's, that's I'm nitpicking really Good range I like that that's what makes sense to me trying to stay on the outside of the, the arc that the arm normally traveled right You see when they caught that arm is on the outside of both hands I, I would maybe grapple a bit less when you're wrestling someone who has knives in their hands. Like that's where there, there's opportunity for errors. Stay behind them, stay on the outside of those hands. Like he's doing, like you see, like the position that he got into here, where he rolls over and he stays on the outside. Bang! So like both, like the guy's facing away from him, and both daggers, like they don't, they can't easily reach him. Like this is ideal. But what's more ideal, I think, is just you disarm him. You gotta. With that blade where it's a, it's a, there's a loop that goes over the thumb and then the curved part is held either on the outside or the inside of your palm. It is hard to disarm people like that. So, like, you know, I, I'm trying to, I don't want to sound too ignorant here because definitely I'm not, again, I'm not a knife expert. Like, I know it's hard, but that should be, uh, a, you know, the, your first priority <laughs> is finding a way to disarm. Now they're even ground. They both have uh, one dagger or one knife. Eco's getting in though. Good toss, and the fact that Eco hit something on the way down. Ooh, that's a that's a rough knee. Another hit toss. Yeah, with knife fighting, I I personally I know the jujitsu guys. They have not. Uh, they have you know grappling techniques specifically for uh, when you're handling. Uh, someone with a gun or someone with a knife for me it's like when you get so tight like that and when your hands are all over the place i i, I just if i if i was in a knife fight i would not want to grapple personally <laughs> so if that makes sense y'all some of the headshots that eco way is taken on, on top of his leg injury he should be slowing down a lot more by now i, I know it's a movie but you know if this was real it's just super impressive that was a great slip Great hand manipulation. So let's watch that again, you guys. So the way that their their arms are interlocked and doing the hand play, like you'll see this in Wing Chun, you'll see this in Wai Tai. Like this is a natural occurrence where your hands, your limbs get tied up, and it's whoever who can scramble out of it or manipulate that to the advantage best who's a win in those uh, situations. And then they made it look super believable there to me. Like that's that's like masterful choreography, you guys. Oh, he, he let us swipe through. Uh, th those are potentially lethal, not the R one, but the body ones. 
You can you can definitely fight with these injuries, but I'm surprised. Yeah. Like fatigue and pain would be settling in. And I don't know how adren how long adrenaline can take for this kind of a fight. This is brutal. Nice work from Eco. Open that up. So the way he like he jabbed it in, twisted and open. So what he's doing there is he's going beyond the stab and going for a full uh, laceration. It's those lacerations, like the quicker you can get them. Like your objective here isn't to do just any slicing motion. You want to create a big enough hole, or like you want to do something that that deposits blood out. And the quicker you can get your opponent to bleed out, the more likely you can get that kill as well. Because right now it's like it's, they're fighting death of a thousand cuts right now, and that's what they need to do. Like you see how he didn't just swipe his neck; he went in, twisted, and tried to like rip it open, right? Like, like yeah, like open like a bag of chips. <laughs> it's probably a bad example. That's what you got. I think that's what you gotta do to get those killing blows in. And now the guy's finally starting to to taper off, and you know, and and, and decease essentially, right? Makes a lot of sense to me, you guys. Jeez. Jeez, they both look super impressive. Um, I'm going to silence it while we go over it, you guys. Uh, question uh, of the day. Uh, if you uh, were one of the people, one of the chefs here in the kitchen that are just about to walk out, would you leave like that without a word or would you stay and watch? Let me... <laughs> Let me know in the comments below, y'all. And if anyone has any further insights to these actors or uh, this uh, this martial arts style or anything like that, please keep those comments coming, you guys. I'm seeing more and more of them, and I love learning from you guys as well. I want to provide you value, but I'm also getting value from y'all, which is uh, awesome. Let's get into the breakdown here, guys. The only two things I could take away from this, and I, I and I'm not saying that they're gonna affect the score because I, I want to give this a ten, I think. But the only two things I would say is uh, again with uh, the, the most recent thing I said was with with the the injuries like the the, the leg one specifically th that would have slowed Eco down more than they portrayed maybe the adrenaline would keep him going for quite a while but a lot of his motions and his kicks were still able to go at full force so I, that, that for me is a bit of a stretch and um that that's really the main thing and the other thing uh that I also mentioned was that and, like there's a few parts here of the choreography in terms of like the knife fighting where the guy's going awfully wide that might be the, uh, that A, because I don't know if that's actually how you use those knives, and B, because I think like it's part of the choreo, like it's part of the movie that, that the the like the other opponent needs a, like a chance to react. Otherwise, we don't have a fight scene. So I'm actually not gonna use those criteria to remove it and deduct any points from the score. I'm gonna give this a ten out of ten, you guys. Like if you're looking to get in martial arts, if you saw this back in the day and you wonder if this stuff would work or if this is a, a realistic portrayal of martial arts and combat in general, I personally think it is this is a great example and this is now going to be added to my repertoire of if people ask me for like a really good scene a really realistic scene this is up there this is this is on the list uh, that i would recommend to someone for so many reasons the tactics the techniques uh the strategies they have and there's some strategy here there's tacticalness like the way they're moving around choosing the weapons when they do like choosing to grapple or not grapple when they do like it, it to me feels very immersive and when it's really immersive and really entertaining guys that's an easy easy 10 on the entertainment score as well that's the two criteria realism entertainment that's a straight shot 10 which did even a little bit better than raid one which we gave a nine and a half and uh well you know what yeah, I'll, I'll let you watch the video to see what the other scores were. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put the link in the description below. Question of the day, guys. If you're one of the chefs here or one of the kitchen staff, would you leave or would you film this for the YouTube? Uh, let me know. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed the video or saw any value in it, uh, please leave a like because it means a lot to me. And if you subscribe, it means I will see you again, which would be awesome. And if you comment below any thoughts, uh, your scores, or uh, the question of the day, uh, I'd love to interact with y'all. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bruce Lee is...